What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race fix for the 2023 Quaker State 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in NASCAR begins the second half of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the 1.5 mile super speedway track. The last time we raced here in the summer, we saw Chase Elliott pick up, I think, his third or fourth victory of the 2023 season. Two season, he'll be looking to pick up his first victory of 2023 season and make it in into the playoffs. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. It seems like it's consistent week-by-week -week basis where rain and weather isn't a factor for the weekend. It's going to be 87 degrees as a high with 69 degrees as a low right now. A 60% chance of rain with scattered thunderstorms. Now the weather could change over the next couple of days. The weather is expected to be a pretty big factor this weekend at Atlanta Super Speedway. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, we've had a couple of new subscribers as of recently. Here's how picks work on the channel. I do two stock picks, two drivers that I expect to struggle who will continue their struggles or are going to have a really bad run. Two underdog picks, two drivers that I expect to run really, really good who need a good run or, or who are underrated in the type of track we're going to. And I do the winner's pick, the driver I think is going to win the race overall. And then I do the drivers need to watch out for for this weekend. And I got five drivers need to watch out for along with the race winner. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my side picks for the Quaker State 400? My first side pick is a driver who's generally struggled since coming back from his injury. He's been out, basically he's out for 34 weeks, and since coming back, he has not scored a top 10 finish. And I feel like at this time last year, this guy started having some major problems and major issues. My first suck pick is Alex Bowman. Like I said, Alex Bowman has not been the same driver he was at the beginning of the 2023 season. Like I said, he has not scored a top 10 since coming back from his injuries. And I don't think Alex Bowman is going to have a good run. He's been pretty unlucky at Super Speedway tracks. And a summer stretch is where he kind of struggles. I think Alex Bowman is not going to have a good run. And I think he's going to struggle this weekend at Atlanta. My second suck pick for this weekend is a driver who actually had a decent finish overall at the Chicago Street Course. However, outside of the Chicago Street Course race, this guy has not been very good. I'm talking about Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe has definitely been very disappointing in the 2023 season, albeit it's more of a Stuart Haas racing issue than anything else. But this has been a very, very big downturn year for Chase Briscoe, and I think he's sadly going to have another bad run. The last time we raced here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, we saw him have, I think, have some engine and motor issues to kind of drop him back as he drove his way off the pace and speed. I think Chase Briscoe is not going to have a good run, and I think he's going to struggle this weekend at Atlanta. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the Cup Series race at Atlanta. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a driver who I normally would not put as an underdog pick in any other type of track. But this guy who used to be really, really bad at Super Speedways, I feel like this driver has actually been improving on the Super Speedway tracks, especially since the next gen era began. I'm talking about Kyle Larson. Like I said, Kyle Larson, I feel like, has been getting better and better on a year-by-year -year basis. Granted, he's really not been in a winning position outside of the Daytona 500 in 2023. But I've seen Kyle Larson be up front a little more consistently. He does make some mistakes from time to time at Super Speedways and does catch some bad breaks. But I feel like Kyle Larson is going to have a really, really strong run and will contend potentially to get his third victory of the 2023 season. Technically fourth if you count the All-Star Race. My second underdog pick for this weekend is a driver who's generally struggled in the 2023 season. However, this one of his last top 10s did come at Atlanta after making a ballsy and a really, really impressive move. I'm talking about Eric Jones. A lot of Eric Jones' top 10s this year have come as super speedway-like tracks, which, of course, Atlanta is like a super speedway track now. So I think Eric Jones, he's going to have a very, very strong run. I think he will be underdog to potentially get his first win in 2023. Might get his fourth career victory, but I think Eric Jones will have a pretty good and a pretty strong run this weekend at Atlanta. And now we're going to hand Jabon to the winner's pick for this weekend at Atlanta. Who is my winner's pick? My winner's pick is a driver who has, has been very, very impressive in the last couple of weeks. Really impressive so far in 2023 compared to 2022. And he came very close to winning this race in the spring in 2023, finishing runner-up to the Joey Logano. I am picking Brad Keselowski to end an over two-year winless streak and get his first win at RFK Racing. Brad Keselowski, I feel like, has been overperforming this year in 2023, but RFK has really improved as an organization over the last couple years. And I, as year, weeks, I should say. And I think that Brad Keselowski is going to be really, really quick, really, really fast, and I think he is going to get his first victory in over two years. I'm picking Brad Keselowski to win this weekend 
at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta. Who are the drivers to watch out for? The first driver to watch out for is a driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, and that is Bubble Walls. Bubble Walls has historically been really, really good at Super Speedway tracks. Granted, at Atlanta, it's not gone so well for him, but I feel like Bubble Walls in 2023 is a much better driver compared to previous years. And I think Bubble Walls is actually going to be up front. I don't think bad luck is going to affect him this weekend at Atlanta. I think 2311 is going to bring him and Tyler Reddick really, really strong cars this weekend. And nonetheless, I think Bubble Walls will have a very, very fantastic and a very strong run this weekend and will contend for the victory at Atlanta. The second driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta is a driver of the eight car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, since joining Rich Schultz Racing this year, I feel like he has gotten much, much better at Super Speedways. He was this close to winning the Daytona 500. He won at Talladega and was arguably the strongest Chevy at Atlanta earlier this year. I think Kyle Busch is going to be very, very quick and very, very fast. I feel like his Super Speedway prowess has gotten much better like he used to be in 2008. I think he's going to be strong. I think he's going to be fast. And I think Kyle Busch will have a chance to get his third, his fourth victory with RCR in 2023. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta is a driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, and that is Chase Elliott. Chase Lay right now is on a three race streak of having top fives, and I feel like Chase Lay has been getting better and better and better on a week by week basis. The more experience he gets back behind the wheel after the injury, the better he is going to be. I think Chase Elliott has a chance to potentially get his first win in almost a year at this point. I think he's going to be strong. I think he's going to be fast, and I think Chase Lay will have a chance to potentially get his first victory of 2023. The fourth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta Super Speedway is a driver of the 22 car for Team Penske, and that is Joey Logano. Joey Logano, of course, the defending winner of this race, has only won so far the 2023 season. I do feel like Joey Logano is going to be very, very fast. Team Penske was one of the strongest teams. In fact, they were the strongest team at this race, and Joey Logano completely dominated this race. I think Logano could go back-to-back. -back. I think Penske is going to bring a really strong car for him, and I think he's going to have a good chance and a good possibility of picking up his second victory of 2023 and repeating at Atlanta. And the fifth and final driver to watch out for for this weekend at Atlanta is the driver of the 12th car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney, the last couple weeks since winning the Coke 600, he has generally struggled. He's had a couple bad races recently. However, Brian Blaney was very, very fast in the spring race and rebounded from a speeding penalty to have a chance at winning. I think Team Penske is going to bring him a really, really good car as well. It would not surprise or shock me if Ryan Blaney picks up a second win in Atlanta and a second win of 2023. He's going to be really, really quick and very, very fast. So, those are my race picks for the NASCAR Cup Series race at Atlanta, the Quaker State 400. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Alex Bowman, Chase Briscoe. My underdog picks are Kyle Larson, Eric Jones. My winner's pick is Brad Kozlowski. And the ones to watch out for are Bubba Walls, Kyle Busch, Chase Sully, Joe Logano, and Ryan Blinney. Those are my picks. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the NASCAR Cup Series race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and channel notifications on so when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as for my Patreon as well. Link description below with that. And comment below pick your picks below for this weekend at Atlanta. Let me know your two suck picks. Let me know your underdog picks. And let me know your winner's pick. And let me know drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Atlanta. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Got a lot of content dropping on the channel over the next couple of days. Obviously, tomorrow we'll have an Ask Her News video recapping everything over the last week. Then to, on Saturday, we're going to have two race reviews on the channel, the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series race reviews. We're out, of course, in Mid-Ohio and, of course, Xfinity Atlanta. And then, of course, the Cup Series race review will come at Atlanta pending the weather. If not, that will get moved to Monday and things will change throughout the week. And then I believe we're going to be heading to New Hampshire week and also the SRX kicks off their season as well, which is going to be really, really fun and really exciting. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.